Chapter 3, Creating Your 12-Week Plan. If you've picked up this book, you're probably on a mission. You want to think more clearly and boost your memory and creativity. Now, in the future. Now and in the future. Right. To do so, you'll need to look at your brain in a new light. As a vital organ that needs the same care and, and consideration you give your heart, your skin, even your teeth. Your ability to grow, grow it rests on maximizing factors that grow the brain, coming up in part two, and minimizing factors that shrink the brain, coming up in part four. I see patients much like you at my brain, brain center. Some are young, relatively cognitively healthy, but in search of ways to sharpen their thinking. Others are older and hoping to ward off Alzheimer's disease. Still, others are really struggling and persistent with persistent memory problems or mental slowness or with the cognitive effects effects of serious conditions such as traumatic, traumatic brain injury, stroke, or depression. Almost all, even the relatively healthy ones, are surprised to discover the extent to which they're, shrink, they're shrinking their brains through their lifestyle choices. They have no idea of the true cost of the donut they had for breakfast or the five hours of sleep they consistently survive on or the high stress career they're choosing, chosen. They're so, they'll, they'll soon learn all about such brain shrink, shrinkers and they'll also learn exactly how to grow their brains by adopting prescribed habits that range from walking five days a week to daily mindfulness to enriching their diet with brain growers such as DHA or resveratrol. Many are eager to enroll in my 12-week brain fitness program. Once I've explained to them the dynamics of growing their brains. I hand patients a pocket-sized booklet they'll use to track their progress. We call it a passport. It's a fitting reference because this passport not only tracks a person's journey to a bigger brain, but it also is also his or her entry to a new world of brain fitness. This book is your passport. This book is your passport. Through it, you will create your own customized 12-week plan outlining a de in detail the exact steps you'll need to take each week to arrive at your destination. A bigger brain and the enhanced memory, clarity, and creativity that come with it. Each step of the plan is based on my experience in seeing thousands of patients and on my in-depth research into the latest discoveries in neuroscience. The goal is creating a thicker, denser, healthier cortex and hippocampus by boosting BDNF. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Increasing oxygen flow to the brain and maximizing healthy brain activity. I'll begin where I start with all my patients, getting the, them and now your, you into the mindset of sculpt a bigger, sculpt a bigger, stronger brain in 12 weeks. Get in the zone and aim high. From my very early years, my father assured me that I would one day be successful. In fact, he sort of demanded it. 
you are going to be a prominent scientist, a professor who is known worldwide. You will speak seven languages. You will win the Nobel Prize, he would boldly declare. These were lofty goals, but he said them as if he believed them, and he made believing them a part of my life. When I was in kindergarten, he would lead me out of my home to his sky blue Volkswagen Beetle, open the door for me, and with a sweeping, with a sweeping arc of his arm, usher me into the back seat. After you, Doctor Fatui, he would say, signaling to me the future I might expect if. I achieved my goals. I would clamber into the back seat and he would gently draw a comb through his hair, straighten, draw a comb through my hair, straighten my collar and brush imaginary lint off my imaginary suit jacket. In that moment, I was on top of the world, at least in my mind's eye. The Nobel Prize is still a part of my dreams, but I did go on to become a doctor, speak five languages, and lead the sort of life my father had envisioned for me. What got me there? Was it luck? Maybe, but a large part of achieving those objectives was setting clear and specific goals and having the passion and motivation to propel myself even forward toward them. You can do the same. You can do the same. First, you'll need to set goals. Then, you need to become excited about them. Think about you, why you want to grow your brain. Do you want to be more effective at work so you can get a promotion or advance your career? Do you want to stop forgetting names so you can feel more comfortable in social situations? Or think more clearly so you're more effective in juggling your family schedule? Are you worried about Alzheimer's disease and want to ensure you're mentally sharp enough to beat your grandchildren at their computer games? Whatever your goals may be, they're far more likely to be achieved with a bigger brain. Yeah. I assure you that once you complete your 12-week plan, you will have better memory, clarity, and creativity. With that in mind, write down three chief goals in your life. Be specific. Please give me your three goals. goals. What are your three goals in life? To get <laughs> Do you want to do these goals tomorrow when you're more fresh? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, let's just dream about three goals tonight, okay? Okay. okay, now it is time to find that passion. Look two years down the road. Imagine that every day you are boosting blood flow to your brain, churning out BDNF and chuggling along in optimal brainwave territory. Picture yourself greeting each day with energy and t tackling your task with more creativity. Yes. Clearer thinking and better memory. You've changed your lifestyle and boosting your brain. Picture yourself remembering everyone's name at the office Christmas party or finally feeling fully on top of your children's ever-challenging schedules or winning your dream job. Imagine yourself at 80 taking a college course mm -hmm. just for the fun of it or at 70 writing a book just because you can. Picture yourself healthy and strong and thinking like a man or woman 10 years younger. On the following lines, I want you to write several sentences vividly describing the life you're just envisioned. Write it as if you're already achieving those goals. Example, I completed this program 
Last month, now I can easily remember the name of every person I meet. That's an example. What is your goal? What do you envision after completing this 12 week program with Dr. Fatoni? Well, I tend to get with my mother and do the doctor thing. You intend to get with your mother? Uh -huh. And do what? Go to sleep? Yes. Okay. It sounds pretty appealing, doesn't it? This is, I think you're tired, Mom. It's almost 10.30. Tired, yes. Yeah, you're tired. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about your three goals tomorrow and what you expect to get out of this. Okay, good. It sounds pretty appealing, doesn't it? It does, yes. This is, this is the you of the future not too distant future. You're ready now to make it re a reality. Right. Okay, the next section we'll be going into on page 41 is your brain fitness assessment. Mm -hmm. This is the next one.